Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Brad, brought to you by Boston College Dining Services. Today we're going to be making chipotle mayo. Before I eat a steak and cheese, I want to spice up my life like a 90s reboot of the Spice Girls. But before I slam it to the left because I'm having a good time, I gotta make chipotle mayo. To make chipotle mayo, these are the ingredients that you'll need. Two cups of mayonnaise. Chipotle is in adobo sauce. Limes for juicing. And salt kosher. This recipe is pretty simple and you only need one piece of equipment. You can either use an immersion blender, but it doesn't get it as smooth. I prefer a regular blender, which makes a smoother mayonnaise. So to make the mayo, it's pretty simple. We're going to start by juicing our limes and holding that juice off to the side. Then we're going to take our blender and we're going to add our chipotles right into it. This is where you can adjust your heat. I only put two chipotles in, but you can add more if you like it a little bit spicier. Once we have those added in, we're going to scrape in all of our mayonnaise. And you just want to use a rubber spatula to make sure you get down the sides and make sure you get everything in there. If you want to make this recipe bigger and make more of it in one shot, that's cool. Just add more mayo, add more chipotles. Um, once you get this going, you want to turn on your blender and make sure it's on low. Uh, to make sure that it doesn't fly up. If you have it accidentally on high, you're going to have mayonnaise on the ceiling, um, which could be a good thing. It just depends on your view on ceiling mayonnaise. Uh, so you're going to get this blended through, and once you get it blended to where basically it's running uh, a light shade of orange-pink, give it a stop, and we're going to add in our lime juice. Now with your lime juice, you want to add it to balance out the fat and the mayonnaise, the acid and the lime juice, makes it uh, tastier. So we'll take that and we'll turn our blender back on. Again, make sure you have your blender on low because if you start it on high, you are going to get more mayonnaise on the ceiling. Once you have that going, always make sure that you season it. So we'll add in our salt. And once we added in our salt and we get that blended through, we'll give it a stop. And we want to taste our mayonnaise to make sure that it's seasoned properly. And if it's not, we can always adjust the acid and the salt from here or the heat. Well, enjoy the mayonnaise. And remember, you can put it on everything.